Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Problematical. Uh, today we'll discuss exercise 2.4 of chapter 2 polynomials from class 9th maths NCERT. The first question state, uh, states, determine which of the following polynomials has x plus 1 as a factor. Again, to, to check whether something is a factor or not, or not, you have to calculate the remainder at x is equals to um, where your g of x value is zero. If your remainder is zero, the given g of x is a factor of given p of x, else it isn't. Here, let g of x is equals to x plus one. For the first part, p of x is equals to x cube plus x squared plus x plus one. So you have to check whether g of x is a factor of p of x or not. So add g of x is equals to zero, x plus one is equals to zero, which means x is equals to minus one. This you have to place in p of x in place of x to uh, get the remainder. So your r of x, which is the remainder, is equals to p of minus one. This value is equals to minus one whole cube plus minus one whole square sorry, whole square plus minus one plus one. This is minus one, minus one plus one minus one plus one. Since these values cancel each other out, therefore the remainder is zero. If your remainder is zero, therefore you can see that Therefore, x plus 1 is the factor of p of x. This is by using factor theorem. You can also mention this is the ZERO0. Next. Here, let g of x is equals to x plus 1 and instead of p of x, let's take another way. d of x is equals to x to the power of 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. This is your d of x. Now, at g of x is equals to 0, the x value is equals to minus 1 t of minus 1 will be equals to minus 1 to the power of 4 plus minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 1. Therefore, this value is equals to 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. Two positives gets cancelled with two negatives, but you still left with positive 1, which is your remainder. Since remainder or r of x is not equal to zero, therefore your g of x over here is not a factor of p of x, um, d of x, sorry. Next. The third part, the g of x remains same. And let's say this is s of x is equals to x to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 1. Right. So at g of x is equals to zero, your x value is equals to minus one. Your s of minus one is equals to remainder. This value is equals to minus one to the power of four plus three into minus one to the power of three plus three into minus one square plus minus one plus one. This is one 
minus 3 plus 3 minus 1 plus 1. So these two get cancelled, but you still left with 1. Therefore, your fix is not the factor of its of x. The last part, let g of x is equals to x plus 1. And now you have q of x is equals to x cube minus x square plus, this is 2 plus root 2 into x plus root 2. 2 plus root 2 into x. So you have minus plus root 2. And g of x is equals to 0. Your x value is equals to minus 1. The q of minus 1 is equals to minus 1 q minus minus 1 square minus 2 plus root 2 into minus 1 plus root 2. This is equals to minus 1 minus of this is 1 minus 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 it will be converted into plus 2 plus root 2 plus root 2. Here these two will get cancelled with this and you are left with two, root 2 plus root 2 which is 2 root 2. Again, this value is not equal to 0. Therefore, g of x is not the factor of q of x. Expression. Use the factor theorem to determine whether g of x is a factor of p of x in each of the following cases. Now, using factor theorem, we have to determine whether g of x, g of x is the second value, is a factor of p of x given first value or not. Same problem. First, you'll equate g of x with 0. Then, x plus 1 will be equal to 0, which implies x is equal to minus 1. Given p of x is equal to 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x minus 1. At x is equal to minus 1, you have 2 into minus 1 will cube plus minus 1 squared minus 2 into minus 1 minus 1. This is minus 2 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 plus 2 minus 2. We're left with 0. P of minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, G of x is the factor of P of x. This question has three parts. Second part has its own G of x and P of x. So, equating G of x with 0, you get x plus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 2 and substituting this minus 2 into p of x we get p of minus 2 p of minus 2 is equals to minus 2 whole cube plus 3 into minus 2 root square plus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 and this is equals to 8 plus 12 minus this is minus 8 plus 12 minus 6 plus 1. This is uh, minus 8 minus 6 plus 12 plus 1. Minus 14 plus 13 is equal to minus 1, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, g of x is not the factor. P of x. Next. 
again g of x is equals to 0 therefore therefore x minus 3 is equals to 0 implies x is equals to 3 p of 3 is your remainder which is 3 cube minus 4 3 square plus 3 plus 6 this is 9 minus 3 square is 9 9 into 4 36 plus 3 plus 6 now you had 3 cube it should be 27 27 plus 3 is 30 30 minus 36 is minus 6 minus 6 plus 6 is 0 therefore g of x is the factor e of x in the third question you have to find the value of k if x, is, x minus 1 is a factor of p of x in each cases that means it is given that x minus 1 is a factor of each of the p of x's but one of the coefficients either coefficients or constants in the polynomials is k and you have to find the value of k in each uh, sub square sub question so let g of x is equals to x plus 1. Now, since it's given that g of x is a factor of p of x, so since g of x is a factor of p of x, therefore, we'll first equate um, Let's do it here. At g of x is equals to zero, your x plus one is equals to zero, which means your x is equals to minus one. Since this is a factor, therefore p of minus one will be equals to zero, which means x square minus one whole square plus minus one plus k is equals to zero. We have 1, 1 minus 1 plus k is equals to 0, which means the k value is equals to, uh, did we do anything wrong? You, your given value is x minus 1. This is x minus 1. Hence, this value will be plus 1. I am substituting plus 1 instead of minus 1. So you will have one square plus one, two, and this will be equals to minus two. The second part, let We'll assume the same that g of x is equals to x plus 1. In this case, uh, your x remains 1. This statement remains common for all the sub, all the sub questions. In the second part, your p of 1 should be equals to 0, which means that 2 into 1 square plus k into 1 plus 3 is equals to 0. Which means 2 plus k plus 2 is equals to 0. Let me just one second can reach at the question. Question have to have the root part. Yep. There is a root two over here. Similarly, there is a root two over here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Then the second part, your uh, P of X is equals to X square plus KX plus root two. In that G of X, X minus one is a factor. So at X is equals to one, you have to check what is the value of, P, uh, you know that P of one is equals to zero. P of one is equals to zero. Therefore, two into one square plus K into one plus root two is equals to zero, which means your two plus K plus two plus root two is equals to zero. Therefore, K is equals to minus of two plus root two. In the third part, P of X is equals to K X square minus root two X plus one. Here, P of 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, P of uh, 1 means K into 1 square minus root 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So, K minus root 2 minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, K is equal to root 2 minus one. Next. Here in the fourth part, P of X is equals to K X square minus three X plus K. Now K is present in the constant as well as coefficient of X square. So P of one is equals to zero. K into one square minus three into one plus K is equals to zero. K minus three plus K is equals to zero. Two K is equals to three and K is equals to three upon two. Next, fourth question, factorize the following. Now, um, Let's consider the first one. 12 x square minus 7 x plus 1. We will be using middle term splitting method. Using middle term splitting method. You have 12x squared minus 7x plus 1. Now, whenever you have a coefficient of a as uh, something, we have to consider 12 into 1 to be the multiple of your ab. By observation, um, ab will, should be 1. But since the coefficient of x squared is not 1, you will have to consider 12 into the constant value. Coefficient of x squared multiplied by constant value will give you a b. a plus b will be equals to minus 7 coefficient of x. Now, you have to find the values of a and b such that their addition is minus 7 and their multiplication is 12. Multiplication is 12 positive and addition is minus 7 means both the values have to be negative. Factors of 12, which give, which add up to 7, are 3 and 4. So, your minus 7 gets split into minus 3x and minus 4. Let's rewrite it. 12 x, x squared, instead of minus 7x, we write minus 3x minus 4x plus 1. I will take common in the first two terms, which is 3x. And you're left with 4x plus minus 3. 4x minus 1. Here you can take minus 1 common and you're left with 4x minus 1. First term, second term, 4x minus 1 is common. 
and left with 3x minus 1. Next. x square plus 7x plus 3. Again, your AB will be equal to 2 into 3, which is 6. And your um, A plus B is equal to positive 7. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Addition of two values, which gives you 7. These two values. 6 plus 1 is 7. This is 2x square plus 6x plus x plus 3. Among these two, 2x is common. Left with x plus 3. Among these two, 1 is common. x plus 3. x plus 3 common in both the terms. And you left with 2x plus 1. Next. Third, x x square plus 5x minus 6. So your AB is equal to 6 into minus 6, which is equal to minus 36. And your A plus B is equal to 5. Now, multiplication is negative and addition is positive. Means that out of the two numbers, one is negative, another one is positive. And your addition is positive means the greater value is positive and smaller value is negative. You have to split minus 36 in such a form that you get a 5 with the addition of the two numbers. Now, this 36 can be written as 6 into 6 or 3 into 18 or 9 into 4 or 36 into 1. So out of these, Subtraction of which two values will give you 5 or 9 and 4. The greater value has to be positive and the smaller value has to be negative. So, six x squared minus 4x plus 9x minus 6. Out of these two, 2x two is common. We're left with 3x minus 2. Out of these two, 3 is common, we are left this with 3x minus 2. Taking common, you have 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 2 as the factors of given binomial. Fourth, 3x squared minus x minus 4. So here AB is equal to 3 into minus 4, which means minus 3 into 4. And A plus B is equal to minus 1. So A plus B is negative. Uh, and this is also negative. So you will have one negative, another positive, greater value negative, smaller value positive. Difference should be 1. So 3 and 4. Greater value has to be negative, smaller has to be positive. 3x squared minus 4x. Let's go. Uh, minus 3x plus 3x minus 4x minus 4. So 3x common, you left with x plus 1. Minus 4 common, you left with x plus 1. 3x minus 4 into x plus 1. Last question is factor is these. Again, to factorize these, we can use uh, we cannot use middle law Swedish method because all are cubic polynomials. So what we'll do is we will uh, try a hit and trial method to get the factors of this. We can also use factor theorem, which states that your constant value is to be observed. Constant value is true, so 
either of plus minus two or plus minus one will be the factor uh, either one of these might be one of the root or zero of the given polynomial so let p of x is equals to x cube minus 2x square minus x plus 2 therefore let's calculate for these values p of 1 will be equals to 1 minus 2 into 1 square 1 minus 1 plus 2 whose value is 0 therefore 1 is a factor uh, sorry factor name is a root or zero of p of x if this is true x minus one is a factor of p of x means that by actual division, we can get the other two um, factors as the quotient. So let's try and divide this. You are dividing P of X, which is X cubed minus two X squared minus X plus two. The thing is, this is a factor of P of X. It means P of X can be written as x minus a, x minus b, x minus 1. This is a factor of p of x, which means you are dividing this on dividing x minus 1 with p of x, p of x upon x minus 1. You get x minus a into x minus b. Your job is to calculate these values. On the right-hand side, you have a quadratic binomial. 